everybody, welcome to Back Issues of Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. We're doing Son of Superman, an Elseworlds book from 1999, and it, it's kind of an issue because it's an Elseworlds book, so the brand is irrelevant and gone, despite mm. the fact that it shouldn't be and oh, is yeah. awesome. No, they don't yeah. do Elseworlds no, anymore. No, they don't do those anymore. I mean, they do, but they just don't call it that anymore. <laughs> Number two, it's a Superman book, so sorry we lost you. And uh, the third one is that it was old. It's 1999. God. I was See, born I, in 2005. I, I was born in 2005. <laughs> That's me melting from being old. The reason why I even mentioned this book, besides the fact that I absently read it the other day, I found this at a store and I was like, cool, because it's Son of Superman. Superman has a son in real life now. And by real life, he, I mean in continuity. Yeah, but, like, but he, he didn't then. No, not in 99. So who is this? It's John Kent. <laughs> it's literally the same character. What? <laughs> it's like the first oh. modern int introduction to Superman's son, Jonathan Kent. Huh. Superboy. Uh, the only thing is, this is like a weird send up. It's another one of those like, is this a parody or what? It's it's clearly trying to be like this is yeah. The, they were trying to like this, this tell is a lesson. This is Robocop. <laughs> it's oh. where it's like, oh, it's subversive and stupid. That's Judge Dredd. Like comics are like a the joke. First one. I was gonna like, say the comic, or like, or it's like, <laughs> no, I love comics, but also like, I'm gonna play around. No, with... this is not like fuck you if you're liking comics. No, this is just okay. kind of like, I want to do a weird send up slash parody slash Judge Dredd esque interpretation of like America oh. from '99, but also do this weird Superman story like the Next Generation. So like, America '99 mm. was very into like. <laughs> the Matrix. Post, post grunge. <laughs> yeah. Hip hop, uh, that kind of era. Oh, yeah, but it's written by a 45 year old man. So, like, they. No, right. No, you won't see that. <laughs> oh, see, that's a shame. That'd be great if, like, that's what this was. I wish. Yeah. Like, you want the son of Superman? He fucking sucks and is lame because I hate their music. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. It's like, what is the son of Superman? He's a douchebag because fucking everyone his age is. That's, that's, he's a it's fascist. a get off my lawn story? He's not a fascist. Okay. Everyone else is a fascist. Oh, I see. This is written by Howard Chaikin and David Tishman with art by J.H. Williams III and Mick Gray. Host of names I've seen on this couch a thousand times. Uh, none of them working together. So hmm. the story goes that like uh, the sun is going to have like a crazy solar flare. Nothing to like kill everybody or blow anything up. Just enough to ignite Jonathan Kent Superboy's powers. Right now... Wait, what? Where'd he come from? He came from Clark and Lois. Clark and Lois had a kid, and then Superman disappeared. At some point, about like, how old is he, 15? 15 years ago, Superman went into the Middle East and never returned. <laughs> the Middle East. 99. Middle okay, East. you're right. They're basing it on the premise of, you've read a Superman comic, it's all the same, it's uh, all in continuity, it all mattered. Okay. Everything that you know about Superman up till this diversion, when everything happened the way it never would. Okay. So do uh, so his parents aren't like thinking that he's gonna get his powers. They just think he doesn't have powers. They just assume or Lois, I guess, Lois is Superman's gone. Yeah, Lois is yeah, like, well, if he, had, if he would have had powers, they would have kicked in by now. Okay. Does Jonathan know that his dad is Superman? He's not aware his father was Superman. When Superman disappeared and like died, and Lois raised John from pregnancy till like fifteen. Uh, she was like, your father was Clark Kent. What? Yeah, no, he knocked her up. He hasn't been there his entire life? Whole life, absentee father. That's I thought he just went off to the desert like a year ago no. and didn't come back. No, no, in like... like for a carton of milk or yeah, something. Like he, no, he went out for cigarettes and then he never yeah. came back. He fucked well, up that, that's what time. he did. He just did it right after the kid was born. Exactly. As it usually happens. Naturally. It's like, oh <laughs> You're no, pregnant. The, the potential weight of crippling responsibility has overwhelmed me. I am yep. out. No, I'll be, I'll be right back. I went to the Middle East. And then I went to space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living on Mars. Well, no, I, I'm all over the place. I'm in Paris. I'm in Peru. I just oh. go underground instead of above it so no one can see me. <laughs> like, his, his mother's Lois Lane. So she's famous and awesome and special. So you know, he's got the celebrity in his family already. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that he doesn't have the weight of like responsibility of being the son of Superman. Okay. Not yet. So he's like a mostly normal kid. Uh, yeah, except that like it's also this dystopian future. Oh no. So it's not at world's end or whatever. Okay. It's not, it's not, it's not like mutants and stuff. It's end where it's like mutants and crap. <laughs> People look like them but not on purpose. Okay. And, well uh, that's just the style of the time. Exactly. Yeah. With all that shit in their faces. That's really what it is. It's not even splicing. It's just like I got too many piercings and it's just like I don't even know where to start. Uh, in this it's just you know, hey instead of do you, do you want to go to the hardware store for a phosphate? It's like hey do you want to go to the space 
store for a space bus date? Like, it's just the same. <laughs> it's what an old person would think, think that a teenager in the future is, would yeah. be doing. Whatever. Okay. John wants to, like, bang this girl in his class. and Yeah, at the space bop. Yep. I mean, no, you look at, like, there's a teacher in their classroom. She has, like, a uniform on, like, a costume. Like, she's a superhero. She's just a teacher. That's a teacher? Well, I all think teachers they were are at, like, NASA. That's true. They're the real superheroes. No, they're, she's talking about, like, the solar flare. She's... Like uh, introducing the reader. Our introduction, yeah. yeah. The, Some exposition. Yeah. Because yeah. that's cleverly player. distributed in a. In narrative form. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But John's in the class. And like, eh, kind of prescient in 99, every kid has their own <laughs> personal computer, except that it's an iMac. So, <laughs> you know, they were they were a little off. It's They did have yeah, Apple like, Air. No place did that. Apple Air computers, maybe, but like, no. These well, what's full. great is like the iMac came out in you know that time, and, and this is set in the future of that, yeah. and they think they're still going to be using them 15 years. <laughs> so they pick on John. Yeah. John looks like Who looks Clark. exactly like Clark. Well, yeah. He needs glasses until he won't solar flare. Right. And uh, oh, he'll be blind. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> he looked too long at the sun. We cut to like like a trailer in the middle of the Arizona desert, and uh, there's like a cat statue that's sitting out in front. And it makes this okay. horrible, grotesque, gnarled meow. I'm so glad that's what? a statue because I thought it was a robot. It is a robot. Oh, okay. Uh, no, yeah, no, you, a... you think it's a cat, then you look closer, it's a statue. Oh, no, it actually it's making noise. It's a surveillance machine. Like, it's there to, like, check for anyone who shouldn't be coming up to this, like, secret base. It's, it's but, the it, 1999 version of a ring. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. See? Oh. <laughs> this cowboy character, he goes down into the like the gullet of this place, and it's just there's a there's a whole super science thing going on. What's in this bunker? Ooh. Only the reader could guess. It's fifteen years in the future. It's really not a lot. It seems like a lot if yeah. you're, like, you're John's age, but like otherwise it's not. But yep. like for whatever reason, like everybody is fucking old. <laughs> It's like Dark Knight Returns, where it's like, oh yeah, I love Dark Knight Returns. Batman's like 70, he's 55. <laughs> That's impossible. He's, look at him. Look at all those wrinkles. Yeah, he's 55. That is how old Frank Miller, at his age when he wrote it in 86, felt mm. felt about, like, he's like, whoa. Well, how long in the mirror? How old would Batman, should Batman be if he was totally out of commission? Right, if he was, like, on the verge of, like, dying. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> if you're 55... But you're Batman, Ooh. and you have to be out of commission. Yeah, you have to look ancient, right? Because you just push yourself too hard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like actually pretty realistic. Like at 55, yeah. if you're doing that shit, right? You're 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 probably you're falling you've, apart. You've, you've wrecked your body. Yeah, yeah. It's like a like a football player. Like they're that's true. When yeah. they're 40, they're like they're 70. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's Tom Brady, of course. <laughs> Well, that's your quarterback of any type, and then you don't know, take the hits. But uh, Lex in the future, he has hair now. He has red hair, and it's pulled back in a ponytail because he's old, and he has hair. This is not Lex from too? future treatment. No, it's not. Treatment. So here's the thing. Is this the clone? No. If it is the clone, in continuity, in this, at this point, he's like, all right, it's, the jig is up, mate. I'm not really Australian. <laughs> It's just me. I just made a clone body, and now I have hair. Right. It, and everyone's like, so he still okay. had hair yeah, right. in '99. So yeah. this is just the projection of that. I think that. in '99 he had already lost his hair. Oh, okay. Certainly by '99 the yeah. hair was but gone. He, but people, it's fresh in their memory that he had had hair at one Maybe point. Maybe they were making a joke. Yeah. Or, or that like science had reached a point in 15 years where everyone years has hair. Yeah. Where people, uh, no one. If you're you bald, can it's finally by have hair. Right. Yeah, exactly. You're welcome. But he also like looks really old, and so does Batman. Yeah. He looks like friggin. I don't know, Strom Thurmond. That's Batman? Yep. Yeah. I thought that was goddamn Batman 89, uh, the guy who <laughs> creates Joker. Jack Palance. Jack Palance. I thought that was Jack fucking Palance. I mean, he looks like Jack it Palance does look in this like shot. Him. But uh, <laughs> Lois is like a script writer for Hollywood, and oh. she, she dyed her hair blonde. Oh. Oh, that's Lois. Yes. That Lois is. Is she hot. banging Batman? No. Oh. No, no, no. It's just that, like, Batman read the script and he likes it. It's it's like what? Like, they're still is... friends. Yeah, yeah, they're still friends. Okay, so whatever. And um, she has an age today. Is, there is no way. But then again, like it's up in the air about how old anybody is anyway. So it's not consistent. Right. Uh, but anyway, we meet. Uh, we're in Beverly Hills and we see like his mom and her son and they're walking through town and they find like a. A conspicuous person was carrying a bag through this really wealthy neighborhood, and they dropped the bag. And the kid looks inside, and in the bag is a box with Superman's logo on it. And then it explodes and blows up the block and kills everybody. Oh my god! Yeah, and that apparently, 
Like, the Superman is a terrorist organization <laughs> that has adopted Superman's crest and is on, like, a like a terrorist operation where they, they disrupt the status quo. Superman would never stand for a society like this. Oh. Like the sons of Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right? Sort of. Or they do it wrong. Like, they, yeah, because the sons of Batman were... It fighting for Batman's ideals, but they kind of screwed it up well, they went a too bit. far. They went too far. You know, like, this yeah, is not no, even close to no, Superman. No. This is this <laughs> is taking it to a much further extreme, but they're saying, like, Superman would not have stood for this kind of future, so yes. we need to reclaim it. Exactly. Oh, so exactly. they're trying to blow something up. They're trying to blow up society because they think society is bullshit. Yes. I see. Yes. Okay. It, and very much, like, in that vein of terrorism, where yeah. it's just kind of like, I'm just sticking it to the man, man. you know? That fictionalized... Yeah, the kind life. of terrorists that don't actually exist in real life. That's right. The kind that... The, the kind that are pervasive in fiction, but don't actually right. exist in real life. Okay. So the Justice League is uh, sent to investigate, thanks to President Elizabeth Dole. <laughs> okay. Because Bob Dole's wife became president. Yeah, because at that time, Bob Dole was a prominent politician. Yes. We see the Justice League, and this is like the new version of the Justice League. And... Basically, the Justice League, which is now state-sponsored, it's run by the government. They, they're, they're, the costumes are garbage, and yeah, wow. uh, part of the reason why they're garbage, and I kind of like this idea, but I don't know if I'm really keen on the execution, is that when the government like took the Justice League in, they streamlined them. Yeah, they're so like, they're you're standard. no longer independent-operated superheroes. Like You are the Justice League. You have a standard look. Right. Everyone wears black. Your logo is like on your like on your left hand side, and then your like primary color is a line that goes down your arm, so that I could just like look. If you're all in a row, I could see like based on your color and logo who you are on the team. Yeah, and but if, if you I like look... this kind of thing, you'll make a great book spine. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and if someone sees you from your right side, they won't know which one you are. Unless they look at your hair, because everyone well, yeah, is everyone's... forced to have like domino masks as yeah. opposed to. Full head cowl. Those are not domino masks. Those are like Lone Ranger masks. They are Lone Ranger yeah. masks. Uh, Weird. With the exception of people who don't need to hide their identity like Wonder Woman, Master Man Hunter, uh, Aquaman. Aquaman doesn't hide his identity. Oh, no. no he no, doesn't. Just, yeah, that's yeah. right. He's just out there. Uh, but, like, the problem is that once you do that and you know who Bruce Wayne is, uh, the jig is up for Batman. But for some reason, his identity is still in the bottle. I don't know what that's all about. Well, that could be any old man. That could be, only, that, that could be any old geriatric man using <laughs> gadgets that would cost an incomprehensible <laughs> amount of money. Who aged at the, the same rate as, or at the same, you know, yeah. was the same age that Batman as Bruce was. Wayne, yeah. yeah. What? Uh, Lois is a close friend. She squashes any story that comes out like that. <laughs> she doesn't do that anymore. She's a Hollywood yeah. scriptwriter now. I thought that was just like, I'm a Hollywood scriptwriter and a on reporter the side. playing it. Nah. Now nah, she's changed careers. Yeah, wow. She's changed careers. Okay. It, she can, can she no longer do the news because Superman is around? Was Superman <laughs> her story the whole right. time? And. Either she lost heart or she couldn't hack it. She couldn't hack she's, it. She's like Peter Parker. Like, without those pictures of Spider-Man, he's nothing. not actually a good photographer. You're not, you're not a photographer. Well, he's not a good he's photographer. Not, no. no. If I set myself up in the shot perfectly if every I time, cheat, I'm great. I can get great photos. Exactly. I never had that impression about Lois Lane. I that never had Superman. She, just she was a reporter before he showed yeah. up. No, I, just, no I, I imagine this is more like, she sold out. Yeah. She, she cashed in. That's it. Well, yeah. No, no, she didn't sell out. She lost hope. She bought in. Maybe. Oh, bought in, yeah. That's, that's what people who sell out like to say. Well, it's all corporate so, bullshit anyway. So I'm I out. might as well get mine. Yeah. Grab right. that bag, Lois. So we're in school, we see John. Remember, there's actually a character called Superman. Oh, yeah, Superman. right. He's so the Superman, yeah. Uh, and he's there, he's hitting on this girl, and he's asking for, like, you know, he's he's asking for, for tutoring and stuff. It's just... Oh, and they're, they're all wearing the same clothes. They were in uniforms yeah. in school. Yeah. And they're like future uniforms. Like, it's friggin' uh, Logan's 1984. Run. Yeah. yeah, it's Logan's <laughs> Run in 1984. Yeah, look at them. Oh, stupid. They look like fucking pajamas. Yeah. So she accepts. Like she's like, yeah, I'm down. Uh, the flare goes off. Uh, John goes to the bathroom. He throws up. And <laughs> oh, because of the flare. The flare goes not, off. Not because he, he got goes a to date. The bathroom. He breaks the fucking toilet. He does break the toilet, but not because he's taking a super shit. He's just <laughs> he just falls into it. Uh, right. And so his power is starting to manifest. And you know he does. He, he hears everything. He sees everything. You get to see him learn his powers and shit. <sighs> Great. Mm -hmm. okay. he, you know he, he jumps around. He can fly. He's not really quite flying yet. He's just jumping right. like Superman did when he first appeared. Right. Yeah, he's right. leaping. Uh, so he leaps home and crashes the In roof. In a single bound. Yeah. Well, no, it takes him a few more bounds. Oh, okay. Than one. But he is leaping. He is leaping buildings. tall buildings, though. He yeah. is leaving each building in a single bound, yeah. so it does work. Yeah. Uh, but he he lands in his house 
And Lowe's breaks like, well, the roof. Yeah, <laughs> crashed through the roof, and he's and Lowe's he like, oh jeez, okay, we gotta. Well, I guess you got power. Yeah, we gotta talk about this. So he's just like, you cheated on my dad with Superman. <laughs> She's I like, love no. that take. No, do the math. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I like that take because he's like, I don't blame you. I mean, he was freaking Superman. Wait a minute. Right? He believes that her husband is. Oh no, he just thinks that dad wasn't around. He can't believe that Superman possibly was his dad. No. <laughs> no <it's not. laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, so uh, they 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 have their thing. They have the conversation, and she's just like, "You can't be a superhero. Uh, that's a crappy job. It's." You know, it's run by the state. Plus, it got your father killed. Like, it's not worth it. And he's like, "No, I gotta do it, man." Like, I mean, his best power, friends still seem to do yeah. it. Do yeah. they ever come over and talk? Bruce and Lois talk. So John immediately like dons a Superman costume and goes out like just kind of flying. Where does he get the Superman costume? He makes it. Oh, so it's pretty lame. I, I mean, it looks like yeah, it's based it off of his school uniform. It's got that same color. Oh, and oh yeah. Thing. Okay. So he just puts the S on. He gets a cape. He wears crappy boots. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Those are not crappy boots. Those are wrestlers' boots. <laughs> so he gets crappy boots. And... Yeah. He's immediately spotted. The news is reporting. Is Superman oh. back? What's going on here? Lex Whoa. Luthor's like, ah, oh, shit. What do you mean it's Superman back? Look at him. He's like twelve. Yeah. You know, it's been fifteen years. Who's up in the sky? 15, Can't tell all fifteen these. years is long enough for you to pass into myth and legend. Look at like the Jedi. So that was 15 years ago. Yeah, what are you talking about? That was 15 years ago. I remember, that I was alive religion, then. That ancient religion has not helped you conjure the stolen data <laughs> face. So we see that like there's a room 401k. I don't know if that's like a weird joke about what? retirement plans, but like in any case, there's a, st there's a special bunker in that area in the Arizona desert. What's in the bunker? Why is Lex Luthor guarding Everyone's so far? Everyone's 401ks are in there. That's where they go. Yeah. So they go, they go into you a big, your money. And they go to a big safe. And there's a mattress at the bottom yeah. that just caches the money. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then some corrupt official is going to like break into it one day and take it all. Yeah. Oh, no. You don't take it all. It's just all the officials have access to it. Right. <laughs> they use a big slush fund. So John goes on the date with the girl. Oh, right. They go see a movie. It's a movie that uh, Lois wrote. By the way, Lois writes a movie. She pitches the movie like over the phone with like Lex, because Lex owns like many companies, oh. and uh, you know it's like it's like a classic love adventure kind of story, and it bombs like because nobody's interested in stories like that anymore. It's oh, one of those, they got like, that part right. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> There's an explosion. John hears it. He runs out. He saves a car, you know, or at least he's trying to. There's a car that's like on the precipice of like a blown up build or bridge. Oh, oh I thought it was gonna be that iconic, he well, holds the car It's up trying there. to be. Like it's like, oh, it's oh. about to be that oh, thing. Gonna do the but thing. it's a goddamn like old Studebaker. Yeah, yeah, it's that car, yeah. it's the car. It's the Who car. would drive that this time? Don't worry about that, it's just about the old It's Obama. a classic, it's a classic car. It's an Elseworlds book, we can do subversive stuff. We know yeah. it's a classic car in this future time. It's just, we're, we're trying she to. So the driver was taking it to a car show. Maybe. That person should be arrested for having such a smog emitting no, she's got a, hunk of garbage. She's got she's a got legacy a, plate. Yeah. She's got one of those uh, classic car exactly. plates. She's not so going can... more than 12 miles. Exactly. So uh, he tries to lift it, but he fails, and the car falls, and Green Lantern catches it with uh, his conjurings. Oh. And the Justice League is there, and they're the all like... The just rips off. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And so they're all Whoops. like... So you got to register, man. What side? Whose side are you on? They haven't said that. They haven't. Right, they but that's implied. Civil that the, war hasn't happened yet. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, they do all work for the government. Yeah. yeah. It is oh, real yeah, yeah, close. Yeah. yeah, and 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 Batman is like. Yeah. You're like uh, I, don't know. You're, I, I bought it. You're not my friend. <laughs> no, he's 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 reluctantly on the Justice League. He's like, uh, I can do the most good here, but also this sucks. Uh, okay, I really love the fact that Batman's mask has these little pointy ear things <laughs> yeah, above on the his top eyes. Of yeah, just so like, okay, I'll wear your stupid mask, <laughs> but, but I'm gonna, want I'm gonna... Well, because otherwise there's nothing about this suit that says Batman. <laughs> Other the than cape, the bat on my chest. Yeah, the bat and like maybe the cape has the fringe on it, but uh, yeah. So, you know, they're all like, okay, so what's the story here? He mentioned Superman was his dad, and they're like, that doesn't seem possible. Uh, so then the Justice League is incapacitated by the Superman. And they're wearing like these crazy steampunk Iron Man exosuits. Almost Ew. the Tron suit, but steampunkish. Mm. So they're they're like, who like, you know, we knew your dad. Come on, let's go. And so he's like, You're the Superman. Like, screw you. I'm not going with you. Yeah, I'm not going with you. Exactly. Yeah, you're terrorist. Also, you know I'm Superman? Right. Well, like, was it the fact that I tried to save this they car? They know he's the son of Superman. Like, we're Superman's friends. You're Superman's son. We should be on the same side. Well, he's, he's not the wearing the... He's not... Well, the, the, the Superman. They're not called the sons of Superman. We just called them the sons of Batman originally. But they're yeah. the Superman. 
He is son of Superman. Yeah, but how do they know he's well, just because he tried to save that car? Oh, that they, okay. Also, right. he's been flying around as Superman or whatever the hell he was going for. Yeah, so they probably tracked him or whatever. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I'm so, flying around as Jonathan Clark. Uh, I should probably come oh, up with an alias. <laughs> yeah, probably. So they took out the Justice League. Like they, they like zapped them. So they can have that conversation. Them. Yeah, yeah, they zapped them. Well, these suits are, are really powerful. Yeah, they with technology. The they're technology. They zapped Wonder Woman with technology and defeated her. Yeah, but like. Sure. Wonder Woman is playing possum. Oh. Okay. I don't even. I don't know why I'm bearing lead here. <laughs> Wonder Woman is like sick of peacetime and being like a lap dog, so. <laughs> As, she, as usual. She, yeah, so, so she, she's going to straight up murder them, right? No, she provided oh, okay. this this technology to the Superman. Oh. She's a mercenary. Like she, oh. she, she, she like sold them that technology. Oh, yeah, no. she's leading the insurgents so that, that I she thought. can have something to fight. Yes. Like, what? That's it. So that's what she. So I mean, that's she's, why she's not. I see. She is going to play the downfall well, of man's world. I right? like. I like. I love it. I like that. There is an explanation for there why explanation she is able why. to be incapacitated. Because so I was like, okay, maybe so those other guys, but come on, you so can't. You're telling she's me. magic based. I would technology. Oh no, no. He's he's put the Flash though. I mean, but he's getting old. Yeah. Yeah. Oh but, yeah. Well, we all know me, that the Flash yeah. would not be able to be defeated by him. Yeah. Jonathan misses the movie and doesn't get to go on his date. No, they went on the date. They exactly. went on the date. They finished the movie. They went outside. He was like, oh, I hear the the car falling off the thing. He smooches her and then takes off. He doesn't miss the date, but no, he does okay. bail. He does bail on it. So, you know, you but he gets that kiss in. He does that get that so. he sneaks that kiss in so she can be like, You're a douche for bailing on me, but you're a good kisser and like there's something mysterious about you and I oh. like that. Where do you where did he have to go? It's where such you have a to rush. Go? Yeah, exactly. That way she won't just We were just in the theater for two and a half, half hours. Right. I had to take a dump. <laughs> It's such a good cover, right? You're like, oh no. You're so just, you're like, oh. I had too many nachos. Give her just a real hard, like really like passionate 1930s kiss and then be like, see you later, babe. And then just run and just shit in an alley somewhere. So the Superman like fights Superman or John and they like blast him in the face with their electricity powers. Yeah. And uh, there's a line in here where he's like, you guys are a bunch of crazy maniacs. And they go, you don't know how crazy. And I'm like, what does that mean? What? You don't want me to think you're crazy. You want me to listen to what you're saying. Right. Anyway. No, 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 we're crazy. Oh yeah, we're crazy like a fox. <laughs> Lex is clearly involved with the bunker. He, he runs it. It's his... Like, but whatever's in there. Right. Project. The 401k. 401, the 401k. What's in there? Well, so. I'm not going to forget the name of that bunker. Yeah. So. Good. There's a good good branding mm -hmm. there. So John wakes up in, like, some seedy motel, and he's been he's been clamped to the wall by technology, and he meets the leader of the Superman, which is Pete Ross, Clark Kent's old childhood chum from Smallville. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he's like, hey man, like, listen, your dad and I were like old friends and we went to school together and stuff. Like, so we got to work together because I used to know your dad. What? And do, do what? You know, like free the world or Yeah, whatever. fight the man. Fight the man, fight the power. Take down the Justice League. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. What is the what Bomb is bomb innocence? What is the government doing that's like bad, <sighs> other than like telling superheroes they have to work for them? The government. Oh, so Pete is kind of like a really quick and dirty, and when I say dirty, I mean like lazy and crappy uh, <laughs> explanation for how what, 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 why the world looks like this. And he talks okay. about how you know like drugs. You know how like there was a lot, there were a lot of drugs. there were a lot of drugs in yeah. the nineties. Well, yeah, there, was yeah, there a, were a lot of drugs in the sixties too. <laughs> yeah, but this is a new drug called K, and I guess oh, a new drug hit the scene. K. A new drug hit the scene. It Crypt, was, based on kryptonite, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Ugh. And uh, so like the the drug hit the scene, and that caused like the decline of you know like the lower half of society. Meanwhile. Right. You know, like technology took off, which made rich people richer and poor people poorer. Oh, you and mean so like they they built robots to do everything and put everyone out of work? More or less. Okay. Oh, uh, like now? They, oh, yeah, here's exactly. The, here's how you can make this book like prescient. It's like oh, because you and you apply whatever yeah, the, yeah. you know dystopian reality we live in to this, but they don't even tell you how. They just right. Say, it's like in You'll Tron Legacy. It out, yeah. uh, you know, rich get richer, poor get poorer. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's all the same. That's what it's makes like, it timeless. Yes, is vagaries. <laughs> oh, I'm rich or poor, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ben's new movie pitch. Dude, you just made $200 million on a $60 million budget. 
let's cast whoever the, the 2022 equivalent of Julia Stiles is, and we got ourselves a movie. The, you know, the government wanted to keep the poor, for the have-nots from having, and so they passed laws keeping them from being able to do so. Like what? What laws? Uh, the laws they passed trashed the Constitution, but nobody was paying attention. Ah. That, those was, kinds of laws. Not even me. That's why I can't explain it to you. I don't even know. I'm the yeah. author, and I have no idea what kind of laws were passed. <laughs> but let me tell you, there were some sadistic laws. But we It was all, bad. I mean, like, Dark Knight Strikes Again is better at establishing the weird dystopian future it's set in than this thing, which is longer. Because in that one, I, I, it really- I have no memory of- I am of... losing it because like the, the more exposure I had, like I remember being very critical of the Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, Batman run, where I'm like, oh, this is kind of weird. Mm. Every Batman run that comes out after that makes me go, did I really judge it too harshly? <laughs> <laughs> and like, now I'm starting to look at like Dark Knight Strikes again, I'm like, was it like a secret masterpiece? <laughs> I mean, there are people who will tell you that it was. There are whole YouTube channels dedicated to making videos like that. And yeah. I say fi on that, yeah. it is garbage. Right. But like, maybe there's some fun to be had. The Superman kind of like, step in. And then we establish like, not only is Pete Ross there, but his wife, Lana Lang. And Lana Lang, it looks, <laughs> About the same age as John. So, like, fuck you. What? You know, because Lana Lang and Clark used to date in high school. So Here's like, the thing. Yeah, but she was like five. Book. Right? <laughs> no, he can't be five. That'd be gross. <laughs> but it's, just, it's a comic book. I'm going to draw sexy ladies. Right. The yeah. end. Yeah, well, like, oh, all the other, all, the men are old? Yeah. yeah. Well, all the men are why old. Why shouldn't they be able to get high wives? I'm just yeah. saying, it should be a thing. Except she's the same age as him. I get that, like, Pete Ross has a trophy wife, but the trophy wife is his age. <laughs> And if everyone is 15 years older, but looks 40 years older, it, uh. It's science. It's medical science has yeah. enabled I'm, women I'm to not age. I'm selling this comic book to young boys. Right. I, are yeah. they? What young boy is gonna pick this up and go and look, just go like this. They're gonna go, what the fuck? Everybody's just standing and talking to each other. <laughs> Even the characters with costumes on are doing that. So the, the Superman, led by Pete Ross and Lana Lang, former friends or lovers of the original Superman. Yeah. They have, are you telling me that Superman, Lana Lang, and Pete Ross had a three-way? Uh, I'm not saying they didn't. <laughs> anyway, so they mentioned. What do they say their goal is? Well, right now their goal to just is to break the system down. Well, they're gonna they're gonna bring things back like to a to a, the way when Superman wanted things. You know, like we're gonna the Supermen are gonna set things right. Like you know how they passed all these laws to change the Constitution. Like we're gonna change them back by blowing shit up. <laughs> but listen, don't, 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 don't we'll fix the constitution deep. by wrecking it. They're, 50, he's, they're, they're trying to recruit a 15 year old kid. Right. So they're going right. to use cool costumes and right. like a really right. vague cover They're story. not going to get into detail no. about how it's going to work. But they okay. do want him to help them break into the secret facility in the Arizona desert that they found out about. Is yeah, all Lex our money is there. Well, that's, Lex, that's where our 401ks that's all the 401ks are. We got to find out what they're doing with it. Everyone's 401k. It's like a national treasure movie. And then just scatter it over the country. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Superman's gonna facilitate that by flying over America. <laughs> so the they talk about how you know there's like this crappy camper there, but it's like it's got untold technology the likes of which we've never seen before. Mm. Uh, so they break in and you know it's it's a secret facility. So there's guns and people blazing in there. Superman flies in. You know that's son of Superman. Son of Superman. Yeah. There's the old cowboy with his six shooter. So he's he's yes. in. He's just like yeah. That yeah. sounds right. Sounds yeah. good to me. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I'm impressionable. Well, he's more or less like, like, well, I'll see how it goes. Like breaking into a facility. Right. I'm Superman. That. I can always turn on them if I. Yes. Think exactly. That yeah. Oh, good. Their names are on their helmets now, so we can tell who they are. Thank you. <laughs> and their first names. They get to the like the door, the 401k. Oh and yes. And when they crack it open, they find Superman's in there. Superman was captured in the Middle East and put underground in stasis since then for 15 years. Oh, so he couldn't influence things so he couldn't stop yes the, the coming, government the from changes from doing the things that it did yep yes so this is actually lex's retirement plan is just to sit in the basement and watch superman in a tube helpless you're not too far off <laughs> it's not quite that it's not him just like masturbating while like looking at superman for uh, no. but i assume yeah, he's no. behind it he's, he's behind, just of course he's just his happy he's just plan. sitting there yeah. you know sipping a port or something yeah. being like i won i won yeah yeah, I mean, he did win. Yeah. At least for, for, for a while. For 15 years. I mean, if you're winning for 15 That's years. That's a win. That's a pretty good run if you're That's like Luther. a really good win. <laughs> winning. If I, if I robbed a bank and for 15 years I you wasn't spent arrested, that money? I'd yeah. be like, I got away with it. Right. Yeah, I basically got away with it. Even if I get captured now. I, I already spent the right, money. That money's gone. And I'm not going to be able to make it back. 
you know? <laughs> so uh, John grabs Clark and the Superman are like, go, take your father and run. Like, we can handle these goons. So John takes Clark back home. Oh. And uh, punches us through the outside oh, he glass. Just grabs him and yeah. just through. How does he know okay. he's going to survive? He's yeah. been held in a stasis tube. Uh, yeah. You know, whatever. Like, what if he just dies when you take him out of it? Mm hmm. So uh, Lex gets an update about the whole thing and he's like, nah, that's fine. Even though it's totally not, but it is. So, uh, right. well, I don't show emotion. Or, well, yeah. I, I know he stabs the, the table with a, with a with a uh, knife from just, his eating. Right. You know? I know from previous comics that Superman is a government stooge, and since the Constitution's already changed, there's nothing yeah. he can do. No, that's yeah. true. He's you know, he's he, he's trapped well, by the law. Yeah, well, we'll see what what Superman has to say about this. Hmm. So, uh, you know, John puts Clark in his room, and he's just kind of like, hey. <laughs> hey he gives him his glasses because hey, he's Dad, old now and needs you, him. You like my room? Here's well, all my he, stuff. Superman asks him, like, who are you exactly? <laughs> and he's like, uh, huh. Because what John does is he ends up giving Clark his old glasses because he's got new power. And so he doesn't need them anymore. Oh, and Superman's depowered because he hasn't seen the sun in yes. however many years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So uh, Lois comes home and she's like, oh, I got a call from school. It says you didn't show up because you were, you know, fighting terrorists or whatever. <laughs> but uh, we got we got to talk. So come on down here. And so... Just like hiding he's Superman like hiding in his, his dad. room. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh I'll be right down there, Mom. Oh, don't come in. Lois just comes upstairs. She's like, all right, John, you're not answering me. And she sees... Do Clark I hear another there. man's voice in there? Like, What's happening in there? Blah, blah, blah. Are you selling yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so Superman and, and Lois are reintroduced and he immediately recognizes her. And then, hmm. you know, and so it's a, it's a tearful reunion. Yeah. Meanwhile, Pete and Lana does are in he, another hotel. Does he come to the realization of like, oh, you're my kid? Yeah. That's okay. coming later. But mm. like... He puts it together pretty quickly. Yeah, he's going like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you have powers, and you're living with my wife. Uh, and, uh, oh, shit. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> what? <laughs> this page. Oh, this page oh, of how Lana's sexy just Lana is sitting in a, a bikini. bikini. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're at a hotel. 20. a hotel with a pool. Yeah. So Lana's pissed at Pete because Pete just let John take Clark and leave, and... Lana managed to decrypt or at least recover some secret Kryptonian message that was also in the bunker. And so they took that. The encryption's in Kryptonian. We can't crack it because we don't. We need the Kryptonian. Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So uh, they're, they're, they're figuring it they out. They are dressed wrong for the Fortress of Solitude. They are going to be cold. Well, right now they're just in their base. <laughs> they're just talking about what they're going to do. Their base. Their base, hotel. which is a hotel room. Yeah, yeah, well, they're fugitives or whatever. Yeah, exactly. They're on a computer that looks like it came from Fallout. <laughs> yeah, that's, yes. that's very true. Well, it's the future. So. <laughs> Uh, Lana makes reference to a mysterious benefactor that's like funding them. Uh, I don't know that's Wonder Woman, but whatever. Yeah. So uh, the news reports on like the Superman just breaking into a clandestine government facility that was working on like who knows maybe the next cure for cancer. These people just blew it up and was messed things there up. an image of Clark or uh, Jonathan? No. Oh. No. Uh, so we get this fun like dinner table scene with like, with like John between Lois and Clark, and he's just like, okay, well, it's been a long time, but let's try and like work things out you know he's, right. trying, he's doing all the talking and then Clark just goes he's like you Lois and she goes no he's exactly like you and it's like aw and then they they kiss and uh, so Lois and Clark are back together and Superman is you know gonna presumably become Superman again okay uh, meanwhile and this is the only time where his parents will kiss where he won't think it's gross yes yeah he's actually looking at them with <laughs> awe he's like aw he's like this is you. great yay and then they keep kissing he's like oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then they have sky sex for four pages. <laughs> Just like freaking Dark Knight Strikes Again. And he's like, I have superpowers. I can hear this. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, uh, we reveal that like Lex Luthor is working directly with Martian Manhunter. And Martian Manhunter is kind of like Lex's eyes and ears on the inside of the Justice League. Why? Because we need He explained to Marsha Manhunter why it was like logical that yes. they control everything. Sure. And Marsha Manhunter's happy to do it because then he could be like top dog because you know Because that's what he always wanted. Yeah, because Marsha Manhunter always used me for communication. Yeah. I'm the I was phone. your telepathic link, you assholes. I'm, I'm the magical Avengers Bluetooth earpiece. <laughs> now I'm in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm Superman. And now I'm not, because Superman's back. Fuck, what are we gonna do? <laughs> so uh, we see the Justice League like meet up at their base on the moon and they're all talking and then Clark calls them on the like video phone and he's just like, hey, I'm back. And they're like, okay, well, you're going to join? Mm -hmm. 
And he's like, I, I need to figure things out. Yeah, I, I like just got back. I literally, you, like, just give me a like a second. Jesus, is he blown away with how technology has changed? Couldn't care moved? less. <laughs> yeah, it's like it all looks the same to me. I don't yeah. know. It's all just ants. Exactly. <laughs> ants walking around doing their <laughs> ants thing. Ants marching. So <laughs> two by two. Uh, Superman and John like get dressed and they go to the base. Which was the hotel where Pete right. and Lana were staying. <laughs> it's like a shitty hotel too. I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. And what they find instead are holograms of Pete and Lana, like talking to them. It's a it's like right. a video hologram right. phone. You missed us. Yes, you missed us. But hey, Which hey, we knew you sorry would. we couldn't take your they can, visit. They, they can interact with them. So like, oh, I, I'm assuming message. it's a phone. Yeah. I mean, it's either that or it's just a very smart. <laughs> well, it's voice like recorder. you know what it is. It's Kryptonian holographic technology that also is like able to. Anticipate your responses and stuff. It's how Clark talks to Jor-El. Yeah, it stuff. scans right. your brain and shit. Yeah. yeah. No. No, it's just a phone. He's just like, hey guys, like, thanks for freeing me, Pete, but like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, what is all of it? Like, don't use my crest on your like, on your on your bombs, terrorist on your bombs terrorist that used to kill children. Yeah. And they're like, grow up, Clark. This is the real world. And he's like, okay. You sound like Bruce. You're, yeah. you're messed up. So what did you accomplish by blowing up that family in the city? We caused terrorism. No and one will think about, they'll think twice before, you know, believing in Beverly Hills or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm just a little unclear it's, as it's to their motivation. Unclear. Look, yeah. all I know is I had bombs, I had your logo, yeah. I put the two together, the yeah. end. Yeah. So, uh, you know, John and Clark, like, talk about him kind of becoming Superman again, and he's like, I mean, besides my best friends from childhood becoming terrorists, like, the world's gotten along pretty fine without me. And he's like, we talked about the world's fucked up and terrible, and, like, you know, they needed to become terrorists because of how, like, everybody is just oh, kind of no. complacent with how bad things are. And he's like, dude, kid, like, Everybody's getting paid and laid in this reality. Like, who cares? Let them do their thing. And he's like, I'm new cool swinging new Superman. Right? He's like, crime's down, <laughs> man. He's like, yeah, but at what cost? And he's like, okay. Uh, did you see Lana? You know, she was my girlfriend in high school. And look at her now. She's still stacked. Some kind of future tech enabled that. And all I'm saying is, if that's possible, like, then that's, that's the not future. that bad. Yeah, well, it's worth whatever we had to give up. <laughs> <laughs> Our babes can stay young and hot forever. Right. Like, and we can still call get that old and decrepit for some reason. <laughs> and they still love us. Yeah, they still find us sexy and virulent. Yeah, <laughs> no. But they have this back and forth about father and son. You know, like, are you Superman or are you Uber Mitch? You know, oh, oh, you watch your oh talking to him. I'm your father. God. And he's wearing the almost uh, eradicated, eradicated, eradicated Superman. Yeah, what yeah. is that? Is but that also like... the old man I have to drive <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah, well, solar flare. You know, it's, yeah. like, it's brighter than it used to be. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, are those Kryptonian glasses to protect his sensitive eyes because he was underground for 15 sure. years? <laughs> they just they just want him to wear glasses. I see. Because somebody read Kingdom Come and they want to do that scene from Kingdom Come, but like with less depth. And so uh, he joins the JLA, and okay. they give him a new costume, which is darker and more in keeping with the theme. Right. And so they have a press conference. It looks and they're like all his black there. suit. Yeah. 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 It, it looks also like looks like the dead. black suit. He looks he looks a lot like. Uh, the Superman from the Justice Lords cartoon episode of Justice League, and mm. also he looks like his resurrection suit, yeah. or Man of Steel, or whatever. But uh, mm. yeah, so Superman takes the stage, and he's just like, "Hey, everybody!" And uh, he's he's goes up to the podium to take questions from the audience, and Martian Manor is like, "Oh no, uh, I'm sorry, everybody, but uh, Superman's got to go. There's a big pressing thing." And people start like asking him questions, and Martian Manor is like, "Oh no, because no, he doesn't no want questions. Superman to have to interact with people being like, right. are you gonna help us ourselves? Yeah, like it's Please really save bad us. here." And he's like, you know, Martian Manor is like, "No, no, no, everybody's happy, everything's fine." I love Martian Manhunter's like vampire fucking cow. Oh, I know. It's well, amazing. that way you know, like he's a piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, he's the bad guy. Yeah, I mean, he had that before, right? Martian Manhunter it, had it was red, a cape. right? Yeah, he, it does have it a high did, collar. It right? did have a high collar. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's blue. His cape. Is oh, it's blue. blue. Sorry. But uh, now it's. But black. it's less sinister looking. It yeah. is. Yeah. It I was... remember the two medallions on the mm -hmm. other side, the clasps to hold the cape on, but I don't remember the 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 popped part. Yeah, it's, it depends on which version you're drawing. Right. Anyway, so Florida. Uh, I hit. see uh, that Superman doesn't have the logo on the left side. No, like everyone else. no, he they gets let the him put nice it in the middle. He's S. like in charge of the Justice League, so it's all themed. Now it's like it's themed around him, no, as like, if okay. they made that decision ahead of time. Right. Look, if Superman ever comes back. Well, listen, when Clark, when 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 Lex and Martian Manhunter are talking, Lex has a prototype suit for Superman that looks just like this. The rescuing of Superman was not part of Lex's circuitous scheme. Right. He just can make a suit real fast. Yes. Yeah. So and he uh, definitely wants to co-opt him into the JLA. Oh, yeah. That's the only way to control him. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So uh, they're lifting another car. Yeah, let's. Let's. Look at all these homages. <laughs> Pete and Lana go back to Smallville. They go to the old Kent farm. They go into the basement and they find the baby rocket that was hidden underneath oh. the barn. And they take that because it's technology they need. John goes back to school for the first time in however the hell long he's been gone. <laughs> right, right. He meets up with the girl that he left, Karen. Yeah. Uh, she's like, like hey. Me, but it's... <laughs> How's hey, it going? <laughs> Literally. Like, uh, I haven't seen you in two weeks. Ba basically that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, they, they recovered the, uh, the, the suits, the suits that uh, Pete and Lana were using. Oh. Batman analyzes it privately mm. and discovers that there are there is a special element used in the suits called Amazonium. Called that is stupid! Is it <laughs> that's as bad as Batmanium! <laughs> is it as bad as Unobtainium? Yes! It's the same yeah, thing. It's all bad! It's yeah. all bad! I agree! I hate it all! Oh, god damn it. Even Batmanium... That actually makes Batmanium better. Because at least it... At least it... Well, it's happened many, already. Well, and Batman, well, Batmanium came after this, but yeah. Batmanium at least was named by a corporation. Yeah. That was trying to capitalize on Batman. I could actually see now Batmanium as like a like wink and a nod to like this. Yeah, yeah Amazonium. Yeah, remember right? that Amazonian thing? Oh my <laughs> god. So the Amazonium I think is a real thing. Oh, did that already exist? Yeah. Oh my god. So Batman he's like, okay. Yeah. Now I I'm know. Sorry, the source of Amazonium is the mascara. Yes. Yeah. Why does the computer know that? <laughs> well, because Batman encountered it at some point in his adventure. Yeah, one of his He Batman. asks, he like, who it. sold it? And it's like, Amazonium is not available for sale. So it's like, Wonder Woman had to have provided it herself. Okay. Okay. So, uh... Look, I checked all the black markets that I'm hooked into, and I see it's not available. It must have come from... Exactly. Yeah. So Lois tells Clark, while they're in bed together, that her sister Lucy heard about a break-in at the Kent farm, mm -hmm. and how they only... It didn't take anything, but they did break into the garage and they like dug a hole, and he's like, oh geez. Oh, uh, they did what now? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so we see that Pete and Lana have Clark's baby. His little baby ship. Ship. Hey, look, <laughs> it, like, it already just, has the like, S comes on up the to front their of shins. it. Yeah, well, yeah, because he fits in. Yeah. Now I, this is a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, because they try to hack into it to use the ship's onboard computer to crack the Kryptonian encryption message. Oh. And so it turns out that like, the message, Rather, the, the, the data that was in the Superman room in the 401k, it was just a plot device that explains what they were doing with Superman in there in the first place. And it's not that he was like a prisoner. He was a prisoner, but it's not that they were holding him hostage. They were keeping him there and breaking down his DNA and, and, and committing experiments on him. Oh, so the point wasn't to incapacitate him. That was just no, a side effect. No, it was a side like... effect and to keep Superman hmm. off the table. Pete and Lana thought the government had taken Superman because, of course, it was a government job that Superman went on. Right, uh, but in was, fact... But in fact, it was LexCorp. Uh, Lex Luthor okay. facilitated the capture and uh, more or less dissection of Superman to find out like how his Kryptonian DNA worked. How he works, yes. yeah. Okay. To, and, like, make super people? Eh, more like one. So, uh, uh, John goes back to where the bunker used to be Mm -hmm. And he like digs into the ground and can't find it. They must have like caved it in. It's all gone. Oh, There's all no trace, trace been... of that. Hmm. Meanwhile, Superman goes and grabs the key to the Fortress of Solitude, which I love it. Like sometimes it's just a key uh, that's made. I knew of... I left it somewhere. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's a key that's made of like a black hole, so it's like a key, but it can't be lifted. Other times it's a huge key. Yeah. In this case, it's a huge key that he leaves in like a mountain, <laughs> and it's like no one's gonna grab this. Right. So he picks it up, but he goes to the fortress that's already been broken into. Oh. It had already been robbed yeah. of its precious technological treasures years ago. Right. I guess that makes sense. So uh, Batman goes to Diana's house and he's just <laughs> like, you did this. Like you you did you did everything. Like you sold the Amazonium to the Superman to create like terrorism. That yeah, I did. Yeah. There's no mission, there's no there's no war anymore. You know like I was here to make peace with man's world, but like it's over. Like my mission's done. We had to make the world a better place, so okay, we're done. But like, are we? Should we be? Come on, let's blow some shit up. <laughs> well, she's well, just like a nihilist a more now, fun. like more or less, or she, like an anarchist. Well, she was until Superman came back, and then she goes right back in line. But like, uh, you know, that's what I did. Yeah. So uh, Pete calls Lex on his holographic phone, which we still don't have, by the way. Wait, 
Oh, yeah. Did he have a holographic phone, like, dropped there? Right, no. This is a phone that is used from his holographic, from Lex Luthor's holographic butler. <laughs> See, you could leave hollow cubes that are phones for people... Or you could just call someone on your holographic phone. I see. They don't really break Phones down are just technology. holographic, yeah. and in the one scene, uh, except, they happen to leave a phone behind. Except it's not, anywhere. because when Superman calls the Justice League, he just calls them on the computer. Oh, well. Oh, well, we, we don't want him to use the holographic phone yet. And, oh, It'll oh, him way too much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Pete calls Lex, and he's like, all right, so I'm in charge of Superman, and... I, I found out your information. Right. I got your information. I will <laughs> keep it to myself for, like, a lot of money. Oh. And I'll retire. Oh, so he's 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 volunteering to sell out. He's selling out. Okay. I hey, guess that's what the theme of the book is. I'm selling out. I'm buying, I'm buying in. in. Yeah. <laughs> so this was my plan the whole time. In. Yeah. And so theming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And of course, you know, Lex is like, well, the, the facility's gone. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like I have a backup file, so all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, Lois... I'm not an idiot, despite my bowling shirt. <laughs> so it's like extortion. He's like, I'll. I'll destroy you unless you pay unless me. Unless you pay me, money. and then I'll go away. Exactly. Because okay. I don't really believe any of this anyway. Right. Care. This was all just a way for me to make money from you. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, that's why they're like their mission was so vague. <laughs> He's like, I, I would blow up a thing over here. Uh, we just got to break in this building over here. What laws were changed? <laughs> ah, laws that uh, uh, ruined America. Laws, it's really, it's really laws important. Laws that kept me from earning money. <laughs> yeah, laws that kept me from having what, what was mine. So we're going to break into this facility I know is Lex Luthor's. I'm going to steal s some shit. Maybe I'll find a, a video of him oh jerking off or something. Oh my god, you're and telling me that they broke into the 401k and are trying to steal money out of the deal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Clark and John aren't seeing eye to eye. They have very different oh, no. political ideologies. And right. Lois just yells at them both and says, like, that's enough. You're both on the same side. Your father and son, knock it the fuck off. Am I, am I clear? They're like, yes, ma'am. She's like, I gotta go to the salon. Now you guys work together. Uh, Shut up. I haven't seen him in 15 years, and you haven't seen him in 15 years. Give him this a break. Is, this isn't just a knock it off and get along. We have some catching up to do, some <laughs> acclimation. Yeah, that's right. So... You know, Clark and John share notes. You know, he's like, the Arizona lab went away. And so he's like, it's got to be the government. He's like, please, your paranoia is childish and pathetic. Like, shut up, John, <laughs> about the government doing everything. <laughs> well, I mean, that's fair. Like, he has no evidence as to who it was. I love them yelling at each other, being like, spare me your paranoia. Spare me your naivete. Yeah. Oh. Who else is that kind of manpower? Oh, so it's got to be the government. The government's always got to be the biggest, most powerful thing in the world. And he's like, well, there aren't any supervillains. And he goes, okay, now who's being naive? No more supervillains, please. Lex Luthor exists. <laughs> yeah, uh, nobody killed him in the last 15 years, did they? Yeah. Uh, then I guarantee there's a supervillain. Exactly. So, you know, he's like, super, Lex Luthor. Like, he's walking around, he's got a Lex, he's the same exact yeah. character he didn't just before. turn over a new leaf no, for no reason. No, and they're like, well, what? There are tons of supervillains. Uh, Brainiac. Uh, no, the, probably the yeah. new Justice League took care they, of all we, of them. We don't find out. We just, they dealt with it. 15 years, long time. Yeah. So, Superman like postulates a theory where he's just like, let, let, let me pick, let me let me pitch you a scenario here where Lex Luthor makes a deal with Lex Luthor finds the Fortress of Solitude. He makes a deal with the government to sell them my Kryptonian technology, allowing them to propel themselves into positions of power and change things and like that's the why everyone has robots. So everybody's got robots. It's just Kellex. Yeah, and then Lex Luthor facilitates my capture and keeps me, you know. As a, as a hamster in a wheel for like 15 years while well, right. he becomes the most powerful person on the planet. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, why wouldn't he just kill you? And he goes, that's what I want to know. Right. So okay. Pete goes to meet with Lex. They uh, get paid, you know, $200 million. Oh, Lex is just like, okay. Yeah. Here's your money. All right, here's your money. Uh, meanwhile, Superman and the Superman go and deface the Statue of Liberty. The Justice League <laughs> is like, it must be Superman. He obviously just lost it and attacked the Statue of Liberty as a public display of his anti-American sentiment. Oh, so okay. let's just fall in line and kick ass. And Batman's like, no. <laughs> From his phone in the Batcave. Right. Meanwhile, Clark and John are at the Batcave with Batman. <laughs> right. And he's like, all right, let's do this. I've been looking for an excuse to be Batman and fuck over the Justice League. <laughs> Big time. So I got all these files. It'll be I got a cinch. All these files. It's gonna be great. It'll You're, take like three seconds. Uh, Martian Manhunter is a bad guy, but what about the others? Are they like they're, they're dumbasses? They're just they're just, they're just dupes. dupes. Yep. They're dupes. Okay. Yep. Flash. Dupe. Green Lantern. Dupe. Aquaman. Dupe. Yep. Yep. Wonder Woman. Mercenary. 
Yeah. Well, I guess she's not, but yeah. 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 yeah, no, yeah. She was uh, her own thing. thing. So yeah. she's not a dude. She had her own plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this Kyle Rayner? Who is this? <laughs> sure. <laughs> they don't say. It's 99, so it has to be Kyle, but it like. It kind of looks like him, but it's, he it's looks hard to tell. Less old than Aquaman? I don't know. Yeah. It's, mm. Well, the sure. ring prevented him from aging or whatever. Well, no, he's just, he was younger than the rest of them. That's true. So he he aged, was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He just hasn't, he's only 40 or whatever. Right. Sure. <laughs> so Superman and Batman and John, all as their super characters, are like swinging through the city. <laughs> their Superman and his son are flying real slow so that Batman can actually, keep Batman up with them. Actually, Batman and Superman are going faster than John. He's like, can you guys slow down? What? And Superman says, slow's not my style. That's how I got you, my pregnant. Ah! <laughs> can't keep up with Batman <laughs> swinging <laughs> from a rope. a rope. He can't keep up with a... What? With a 105-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just have to... Uh. You know, hang on. I want to do the math here for a second. <laughs> Presuppose... <laughs> That Batman, how old is Batman in 1999? He's in the prime of his life at, in 99. He's got three 36. Robins. Let's say he's 35, right? 35, yeah, 35. Flat, because that's what, if you were like nine, you're reading comic books, you're like, 35? It's pretty old. Like you hit yeah. that age, you're just like, it's all downhill from right, It's all downhill from 35. Yeah. So 35, it's been 15 years. He's 50. So he's 50. He looks older in this than he does in Kingdom Come <laughs> and Dark Knight. Yep. He's five years older than this in Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> it's all makeup, Sal. <laughs> yeah. He was just putting the lines on to be like, yeah. oh. He wanted people to <laughs> underestimate him. me. That would be, oh, that, that would be if Batman. If he's like Doc Brown in Back to Future 2, he's like. <laughs> 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 yes, if that was a peel. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's also his old age makeup for the first movie. True. <laughs> Which is genius. He's like, I don't want to wear this when I'm my prime self. <laughs> Hair up hair, change of blood. That's Batman, yeah. yeah. It's the future, I used your technology. I'm 35 forever, bitch! <laughs> That'd be awesome. And Martian Manhunter's like, all right, Superman, like, you're under arrest. You gotta fucking deal with us. And Superman's like, shut the fuck up, John. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Heat vision! <laughs> I'm gonna burn your fucking face off, you piece of shit. So they're, 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 they're fighting, and then Wonder Woman shows up, and she's like, all right. Like, I'm no, gonna stand the here. Is, well, the jig is up. I'm not a member of the Justice League anymore because I sold weapons to terrorists to kill people. <laughs> And Superman called me, or Batman called me out on it, so like I guess I'm part of the team again. It's it's, it's all original leaguers and stuff. Right. Yeah, but like, whose team is she on? Superman. She picked team. Superman. Oh, Superman, John, and and Batman. Because she wanted to fuck over the Justice League. Yeah. And I well, guess she wanted to get back to like the never-ending battle. Yeah. Right. So it's the Trinity and John. Yeah. Versus the Justice League. Right. Yeah. So and they, I guess Superman's just like, you you gave weapons to terrorists. <laughs> Well, you're sorry, Batman so didn't I guess we'll tell anybody anything. He's uh, like, I okay. need Wonder Woman. You didn't use any guns, did you? <laughs> nope, no guns, just uh, big no. crazy suits and bombs. And bombs. I'm fine with that. No, yeah. I'm fine. Do you know how many explosives I attach to batarangs? It's fine. Yeah. Well, you know, I wasn't around to be your moral compass or whatever, so you exactly. know, you, you, you're gonna break a few eggs. Right. Yeah. You're gonna lose a few. Yeah, so uh, they kick the shit out of the Justice League. Like they beat them immediately. Oh yeah. Well, they, they also haven't fought anybody of any consequence for like ten <laughs> years at least. Yeah. So they like. They, they just throw Martian Manhunter into a TV screen which burns him and then they just grab him and they're like, you threw him with Lex Luthor, you fucking douche. Yeah. Yep. And I love Batman just like giving Wonder Woman the business and she's like, I don't owe you an explanation. Like, give me a break. Look, I helped you out. Yeah. We're, we're all we're on the same team now. Well, I don't understand. I'm on I'm your side. I'm the leader of a goddamn country. I don't owe you anything. <laughs> exactly. So uh, John goes to face Luthor. And so he runs over and he grabs Luthor and he just like grabs Luther by the throat and smashes him through the window, holding him aloft in oh, the sky. Wow. And then Luther just floats away. Yep. <laughs> he took Superman's powers. Yeah, well, Well, he some injected of them. himself with He's been... DNA or whatever. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. He's so been he can juicing. fly. Yeah he's, he, yeah, he's been juicing. Yeah. He, I mean, like, maybe that K drug. I made a few upgrades of my own. Oh, my God. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. I mean, like, the, maybe the drug that was circulating was, like, a prototype oh, of the thing yeah. that he was using to augment his own powers. But, yeah, he's just sure. like, did you really think that I would keep your dad under observation just to, like, jerk off over his body and <laughs> laugh at him? Like, no. I, I, I've been using him. I mean, I love him explaining it. And I'm like, you explained fucking... It's yeah. all been explained. No, I get to explain it to, to his son now. You don't know, you know, you know, you know how many times I've monologued in the last 15 years? It's the first good monologuing I've had for a year. Plus, I'm your first monologue. You're getting it from an expert. You should be thanking yeah. me. Take notes, kid. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, he produced his, you know, it took me 10 years to break down the Kryptonian DNA and then three to make a serum that didn't kill my guinea pigs. 
So yeah. You could have just yeah. So he's using made a K clone. To, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did that already. Yeah, but make one out of Superman. Who no, but then works? I but then he'd like get a mind of his own and shit uh-huh. and like. No. No, that's so, why it's called a clone. Yeah. So he so he monologues at him and then John grabs him by the ponytail. And just dive bombs into the ground. And just does he rip his hair off? He does not rip his hair off. Oh! He doesn't scalp him. <laughs> but how great would that be if he loses his hair again I, to Superman? I would love that. He just makes fun of him. He says that the ponytail is so 90s lame. And then smashes his body into the ground. And he's just unconscious. That's how they defeat Lex Luthor. What? He's, fucking, he's like, no. <laughs> and then John just grabs him by the ponytail and just like DDTs him into the earth. Wow, what an anticlimax. That's a Holy crap. Meanwhile, you know, Batman's looking for Wonder Woman to pay reparations, so Wonder Woman goes and she... She's like, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Wonder Woman goes to Pete and Lana's next safe house, which is basically like some worn down YMCA or something. Uh-huh. And she's like, you fucking douche. Like, I funded your war and then you sold it out to the enemy? Like, that's not how that works. You, you took advantage of me and now I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I guess she is responsible for them, so she should clean it up. Yes. Yeah. So Wonder Woman takes down the Superman, or really she takes down Pete, and then just lets Lana go. <laughs> I mean, she's welcoming her in a Themyscira. Yeah. <laughs> you can join us. <laughs> I, I think that Lana gets arrested as well, but she doesn't mm. kick his ass. Her ass. Her ass. Yeah. Well, she didn't, Lana didn't sell out the she didn't cause. She did sell out the part. Yeah, no. So, so she like, gets to just you, give herself You just off. did what I told you. Yeah. I, I can't really fault you for that. Exactly. Just because I decided it was a bad idea. Yeah. So in the end, like, the Superman terrorist cell of two people <laughs> is, uh, is, is, is destroyed. And they, yeah. they give themselves up and they go to jail. Uh, the, the, the Justice Leaguers, having been spanked so easily by three people, one of whom was a geriatric... Uh, just just disband. There is no more Justice League. Mm. Uh, Lex Luthor. Wow, the Justice League just disbands like that. They're like, oh. well, they were under the thrall of Lex Luthor, Luthor, so yeah, they probably should disband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all. Who was gonna like welcome them <laughs> after this? To... Well, I mean, like at this point, really, I mean, the, the thing that they don't understand in this book that does happen today is that like we would just let them be Justice Leaguers anyway. Yeah, like, we'd just be oh, like, we don't uh, care. I don't oh, think okay. that Lex Luthor was controlling them. Or Lex Luthor wasn't even a bad guy, actually. Actually. He was right. And it's only because I want to beat Lex Luthor someday that I will justify his, like, <laughs> his horrible nihilist behavior. behavior. Yeah. Lex Luthor steps down as, as CEO of LexCorp because they, because they're, they caught him on tax fraud, lol. And then... Uh, what, what does that have to do with anything that happened in the that's book? That's how they get him. What what does well, we the, what no our laws. heroes did no enable the them Constitution to get him for tax fraud yes. against holding an alien from another planet? In well, his you can't prove he did that. Well, he erased really the evidence. The law. He made a deal with the government to do oh, that. Oh, that's anyway. true. So that was like, all in the up and up. Yeah, but but tax of law or tax evasion? How but dare that, he? That's right. So, so there are two things that are permanent in this world: is death and taxes. That's right. So is what happened that. They defeated him and then like ransacked his office I'm to find evidence of tax stole, fraud. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's cooking the books too. Thank God. Now we'll actually go to jail. Are yeah. you kidding me? They just framed him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, he wasn't paying his taxes. They're morally compromised. Yeah. Paying my taxes? Uh, uh, this weren't. computer no, says you weren't. Heat vision bear. <laughs> so his and and of course they hit him where it, where it hurts. His stock plummeted. Ah, yes. And well, Bruce Wayne. Oh, and when he goes to prison, they shave his head. Yeah, I'm sure. So Bruce Wayne steps down as president of Wayne Enterprises so that he can pursue a career in politics. He's running as the Democratic uh, nominee for president of the United States. He's going to run against Elizabeth Dole. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, uh, John is with Karen, his girlfriend. Oh, or right. the, the girl he ditched who yeah. told him that he's an asshole. Yeah. They're at, like, make-out point. Yeah, oh, what nice. the hell? To have their conversation, like, to yeah. talk. Just to talk. Oh yeah, let's go to make out point. Uh, just to talk, just I swear. Talk. Just to talk, just yeah. talk about a relationship. She's like, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and let us talk with tongues. <laughs> so, uh, he, he mentions that he's gonna be going away for a little while. And uh, he's really To sorry. jail. <laughs> <laughs> you were right about that whole terrorist thing. That was a real bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, no, he, he's I like, done it. He's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be gone for a little while. But I was a butthead. I'm sorry that I, you know, ditched on you and stuff like that. She's right. Like, As it turns out, though, I'm Superman's kid, and I can have anybody. So later, loser. <laughs> no, he's gonna bang her first. Yeah. So he does. And then I'm gonna fly to an island of women <laughs> called Themyscira. <laughs> yep. So. Uh, uh, basically, because the whole, I, I failed to mention. It doesn't really matter. But like. When Superman disappears, sometime after that, Lois and John moved to Los Angeles. 
Oh yeah, they weren't in Metropolis anymore. I wondered because no. I kept seeing these shots of like palm trees uh -huh. and sunsets and yeah. shit. I'm like, no. where the fuck there's is a, this? There's a shot of John and Superman like in the Hollywood sign, like talking. Yeah, yeah. Well, without Superman to protect Metropolis, it blew the fuck up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> but uh, it is the coast city. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, Superman and John, like, they 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 establish their 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 relationship and they decide like they're going to try and like actually have like a father son relationship. Okay. And uh, so, That's you know, nice. they, they drive a car and they go home and they meet up with Lois, who has re-dyed her hair back to being a brunette. Oh. Because she was like a blonde to be in Hollywood, whatever. Now Wait, she's back to she her She wasn't on camera. No, it's just to, to fit in with the with the culture. Oh, I see. Yeah. But uh, yeah, now she's, she's Lois again. Okay. And uh, they, you know, they rekindle their relationship and then John appears wearing his Superman costume. And the Superman costume is basically Superman's costume, but with those stupid boots you talked about earlier. <laughs> but he fixed the S. The S is just Superman's S now. Instead of yeah, like it's not weird... the cool, like, modern future, future S, which is actually basically the electric blue Superman S, but with the Superman colors. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like the S. I, I thought did, it was fun. I think he should have switched, yeah. kept the S, gone to the classic boots. I agree. Because well, those boots are fucking distracting. They... <laughs> It's all the laces. There's too many goddamn laces. Yeah, well, he uh, they talk about it too. He goes, are, the, are you sure the boots aren't too clunky? And uh, Lois says, the boots look fine. Well, they do not. She is wrong. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'd love it if he looked at the logo on his chest and be like, that's not our logo. That's not the House of L. Right. That's that's some weird... That's an S. That's the House yeah. of Core or something. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a completely different thing. shape an S. That means a completely different thing. Yeah, that doesn't actually mean anything. Yeah. It's not S for Superman. This is our name, son. <laughs> You've disgraced us! It ends with this narration. He doesn't need glasses. His girlfriend thinks he's hot. His mom and dad are back together. Maybe he can get used to this, even with the boots. I don't know what their obsession what is. What is it with the boots? boots? Where did the boots come from? Just change the boots! Just change the boots! Do the is boots it, mean something to no. you? a weird thing about being they're a jackbooted thug? No! They're not important! He just has them! I promise it's you. It's weird. There's no. They, it's they, just they, a running they, joke they that just they, they just try to make it happen. Maybe it's like the editor hated the boots, and so they just kept referring to the boots maybe. as like a fuck you. Yeah. Stop trying to make the boots joke happen. Yeah. So you know, it, it, it establishes like Superman has a son. He's a teenager, and like, hey, listen, we're in a reality today. We're in canon. Superman has a son, and he's a teenager, and it's nothing like this. Thank God. Yeah. Well, only because they don't live in like a future. Of uh, you know, of of nebulous design. This is so weird. It's who so, cares? Right. The whole time we're reading this book, I'm like, okay, but like, who gives a shit? <laughs> okay, but like, so what? Okay, but who cares? None of it matters. It's this is, so boring and long. This is like the weird future that the Nazis envisioned in freaking uh, Rocketeer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it has a little bit of homage. It has more than a few homages to it. Like the styles mm -hmm. yeah. that you see, the like, clothes, clothes that people are wearing and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. The technology. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yet it's still old. Right, but it's still it's still cemented in a time. And and look at them go to make our point. Yeah, make our point. They got Stu yeah. driving around. And the cars all are right. all old all fashioned. Right. Hang out around people to, to make, make out. out. Yeah. Uh, well, because there's only, look, there's only so many points that are useful for making out, and everyone many. knows about them. It doesn't have a valid message. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The message, I think... I can't... It's about selling out. Wow. But, like... It's about how everyone sells out. It's about, yeah, well, it's about... It's about how about, old people get old and sell well, out. Well, about how different... Yes. <laughs> yes, and in different ways. Like, we yeah. see how, like, Pete Ross... like you'll, And you're going to encounter, as a teenager, you're going to encounter different phonies if you're holding Caulfield. Right. Like you're going to encounter different phonies in reality. Yeah. Like in life, you're going to encounter a lot of different adults, and they're all phonies. Yep. And they're all selling out in different ways. Yep. Like, Bruce Wayne, he's an aristocrat. He sold out before he was born. <laughs> he's been sold out since day one. Since day one. And he, yeah. does, he got sold out at age eight. Right? But, like, Pete Ross, you know, pretends to work for the people, but also is a domestic terrorist who could be bought for $200 million. Even the terrorists are Even selling out. Even the terrorists out. are selling out. Even your old man is selling out. Yep. And the wor the most you can hope for is at least having like a cordial relationship with him. That that stupid ideology that you believe in, the leaders of it are sellouts. Yeah, right, exactly. Everyone who's trying to, they're all they're all selling they're you all selling and you selling you out. This is a book about sellouts and the and people these. who they sell out. Oh, and 
even the person that they sold out to, which was Lex Luthor, mm -hmm. is a sellout He's himself. He's also a yes. sellout. He was only doing it so he could give powers. Yes. Yeah. Even Lex Luthor wasn't beholden to his own personal ideology of killing Superman because at the promise of getting some extra bit of power, he kept Superman in ice. Yeah. Wouldn't kill him so they could get more. Yeah. Yep. He's yeah. a sellout too. Everyone in this book, huge sellout, except for John. Who just wants to get a little action. Because he's the young one. Because he's 15 and doesn't have anything to... He hasn't had time to sell out. He has nothing to fucking offer is my point. Like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a book about selling out. I think that's really the message of the book. Right. Despite the fact that it's like written by adult men and it's written about a 15-year-old kid. Yeah. Well, it's like... father Superman, by the way. It's sort of like, idealizing him and his... Um, and his, like, enthusiasm. Right. He's, well, like, wanting to get involved in causes. While also like critiquing the fact that like he takes up with the wrong crowd and he's yeah. impressionable, but his heart's in the right place, so it's still yes. better than like being Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, he at who's least like he's... borderline a monster. Right. Oh no, no, not even borderline. I mean, yeah, Those she phones terrorists. Like, yeah, but yeah, no Wonder Woman. And there's no comeuppance for her. No. No. Oh, uh, there. Well, she's well, Wonder Woman. There can't be. No, but but John because diplomatic he's... immunity. <laughs> but she, but he's green, so he gets his ass deported. He what? gets deported because he he's an illegal to alien. Mars. And I'm like, there's nothing there. You let him go. <laughs> right? Deported to Mars. He's just gonna go off in space. Yeah, he's My... not deported to Mars. That's just exiled from Earth. Yes. Yeah. But they, but they want to use the word deported. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're from Mars. We're sending you back to Mars. Like, okay, to I'm just gonna go wherever I want. Okay. Well, just don't be here. I'm a shapeshifter. <laughs> you can't kick me well, out. I don't think he's gonna be able to shapeshift into a spaceship. He's gonna need something for like long range travel. He can fly in space. Can he fly? Yeah, he can fly in space. And I don't know if he needs to breathe. Hmm. Even still, it's going to be under his own power. That'd be funny. They send him to Mars, but there's no oxygen there anymore. He just and dies. He just dies. <laughs> we sent his ass to Mars. Why? Oh, my God. You stranded him there to die? What? No, no, no. We just sent him there to live with his own people. To Mars. There's no atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just a husk. <laughs> he just bones. <laughs> Son of Superman. It's just, I was, I was interested because it was like, hey, here's like some effort to show you like, a dynamic of Lois and Clark as parents yep. with John, who's a teenager. But now we've got John as a teenager on a team and being Superman himself. Yeah, this was a predecessor. A big a time. A look in the future. Yeah, yeah. Where Lois would also be a sellout and... Hey, yeah, she sold out too. Yeah. Yeah, and that's true. Bruce is the one buying her scripts. Yeah. He's just bad. He just feels bad. He's just helping his friends out. He's yeah. like, I'm sorry, Superman left. Here's some money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's kind of nice. And she's like, no, no, I will earn my money. Fine, I will get into the Hollywood business and buy your scripts. Christ. And then and then make your 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 bomb movies that no one's going to see. <laughs> I like the fact that he at least left the script alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, he, didn't, he didn't doctor it up it to like, make it hey. good, because she'd know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't put that in. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm I'm something over myself. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so check it out if you can. Uh, I don't know where the hell this is collected anywhere, but like, I'll bet it's in one of the Elseworlds Superman collections because I know that they've like broken them up into different uh, Elseworlds collections and reprints. So if yeah. it is available, it's in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, you can find it. I got it for five bucks. Nice. Uh, in a in a discount bin. Yeah, that's worth it. And I was like, whoa! Like, and I gotta tell you, like the logo, like that's what, immediately. I was yeah. Like, whoa. Yeah. That's something. No, neat. Yeah. That's that's that, that's it. That's something. You did something. Oh. And the primary and the colors. Least, yeah. Primary it's colors. It's just solid yeah. colors. I am a sucker front. for primary colors, man. Oh, yeah. I gotta tell you. Yeah. I, I don't know what my problem is. I think it's because I'm a child. Uh, <laughs> I think it's because you're the rest of humanity and yeah. that's what we're drawn to. Yeah, that's it's true. Because it's yeah. how the human brains work. Yeah, all right, fine, fine. <laughs> but uh, in any case, it's a, it, is it worth reading? No. <laughs> Was it worth the, what, two hours you spent reading it? No. But it was worth explaining it to us. I think it was worth watching, so hopefully yeah. <laughs> you agree. And we'll see you guys next time with an all-new episode of Back Issues. Thanks a lot. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Keep reading. Keep reading, sellouts. <laughs> yeah, and keep selling keep out. Keep selling Don't out, sellouts. Grab that bag. Your TikTok profile is going to blow up any day now. <laughs>